turning that shoulder, fighting long. 90 seconds in. Right in front of him. He's talking to him now. Oh, yeah. Hands at his hips. Having oh, a conversation. Looking to finish the fight. That's it. Wow. This is such a fun fight. I've been so excited for this fight for such a long time. But when you have two guys that are in their position, you know, Dustin's the number one ranked guy in the world. You got Connor, who's uh, ranked number six. And they want the trilogy, you got to go with the trilogy. So we're probably going to try to put that fight together uh, this summer. Now, in, in, ideally, when would you like the rematch? June, July. June, July. Mm -hmm. So when you asked about, you know, uh, Dust, Dustin wants the rematch, that's you know, smart. That's what he should do. He should take the rematch. Um, yeah, I see him coming out panicked. I see him coming out on a panic. Now, it will either result in two things. He will come forward in a panic or he will back off in a panic. You ain't shit, boy. <laughs> you ain't shit. Yeah, you ain't shit. What's up? That's good. What's up? Mate, it makes no difference about no, that doesn't a little pee head. Dustin thinks it's all talk. I sit back, smile, go in and put him away in one round. It is, it's personal and it's business. It's a, it's a grudge match. I don't like this guy, you know? And uh, it sounds like he doesn't like me, obviously. I don't dislike him and I don't like him. I don't anything in for me he does not exist well uh, we're gonna go in there and see who's a better fighter you know that's what it comes down to I think, you know if you, if you look at connor if you look at the way he fought um the leg kicks that he was eating uh, the stance that he was in he was completely overlooking dustin poirier and I'm, I'm not taking anything away from poirier you know when, when you pull in on, on a super yacht and you know you're living the life that connor lives uh, you know you need to be hungry. You need to take every guy serious. It doesn't matter how you beat Dustin Poirier the first time. That's not the same guy you're going to be facing. And obviously, Dustin Poirier is training like this is the most important fight of his life. So the good part is that the rematch the trilogy, McGregor is hungrier than he's ever been. He wants this fight back. He wants this fight badly. So it'll be a fun third fight. I don't miss, and I, vi I visualize him being there every single shot I throw, him being right there. Dustin thinks it's all talk. Dustin thinks it's all talk, but when he wakes up with his nose plastered on the other side of his face, he's gonna know it's not all talk. I've never disliked somebody that much I've ever fought. But it's all friendly games to me at the end of the day. Unfortunately, he can't take that shit. Hard. That ain't my business, though. <laughs> People are saying all the stuff he's saying. None of that matters. What matters is 15 minutes, me and Connor, let the better man show himself. For those 15 minutes, the truth will be told. And I'm excited about that because this is going to tell a lot. A gust of wind and he does the chicken dance, you know what I mean? Coming up against me, that's not gonna be good. You know, I'm gonna crack him with a jab and, and he's gonna wobble and I'm gonna put him away early. It's gonna be a first round KO, mark my words. Hey Dustin, Dustin, you fought some of the best fighters in the division, but is this your toughest test today? Man, to tell you the honest truth, I fought tougher guys and uh, if Connor could fight half as good as he can speak, you know, I think it would be. I believe the very first exchange he will be hurt, and he will be hurt badly. He won't know. He he won't he won't have felt that power before. He won't have felt that smoothness before. That clinical precision before. You know, a lot of guys talk a lot of trash and, and do a lot of stuff outside. I'm not really like that. When I like to talk is when we're working. 